Libra. Amy Energy here with your weekly tarot message. If you have not, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so that you'll be notified whenever I make a new video for you. All right, this week I'm working with two new decks. We have the Pride Tarot as well as the Rebel deck. All right, and we are going to be doing this spread from the Pride Tarot, the Rainbow Spread. All right, let's get into it. I have some High John incense here burning for you for good luck, prosperity, and protection. Keep in mind, this reading may not resonate for every Libra placement out there, so feel free to check out your other placements. I do these readings for all 12 zodiac signs. Okay, so first we're looking at life, and we do have the death card coming out with the Three of Swords. So I do feel like there could definitely, you know, be a really, I mean, this is heavy, holy shit, to come out right at the top of your reading here. I do feel like, you know, we are really suffering a heartbreak right now. Um, however, you know, with the death card, I do not think this is indicating actual death, but rather you know, possibly the death of a relationship, the death of a way of being, but whatever it is, it is causing us a lot of sorrow with the Three of Swords. Okay, but now here in our healing, we do have the Hermit being clarified with the Empress. So, so far we have three major arcana for you, Libra, so I do feel like this is a life-changing time, and things are definitely looking brighter here in our healing energy. You know, we may be sort of stepping out of the scene a little bit here with the Hermit card. We are, you know, processing information. We are learning. We are maybe, you know, doing some sort of studying here. Um, but I do feel like we are definitely creating something here with the Empress. We are very fertile. We are really you know, comfortable in our environment. So even if we are feeling feelings of sadness and sorrow here, we also are feeling sort of comfortable and creative. Um, you know, I do feel like we, we do have a nice space here to heal. Okay, so now our bright spot, our bright spot is the tower coming out here. Okay, so I do feel like something has really shaken us to our core here. This is life changing. Yeah, we're really, we're really reevaluating everything about our life right now with this nine of wands. We are feeling very wounded by this experience, by what has happened. Um, but this is coming out as our bright spot. So I do feel that even though, you know, we are a bit wounded here, it also, it is a sense of completion in a way. We have reached this point where we have gained, you know, we're still alive. We're strong and we know that. But we are a little fearful of the world here. Okay, so in nature, we have the King of Cups coming out. So Libra, I really feel like this King of Cups is, you know, a really lovely energy. This is, 
an energy of really being able to detach from our emotions. Um, you know, and understand, understand emotions, but to still be able to act in spite of our emotions. We're not letting our emotions control us. Okay, but that is creating a burden for us. Okay, and you know, there is a sense of completion with this card. You're carrying a load that you just physically can't manage. You are going to really need to tap into yourself. So I would recommend taking some time in nature, taking some time, maybe getting out on the water if you can, you know, some space to think um, because you definitely have a lot going on here. Okay, and now in our serenity, we have the nine of pentacles coming out. So another nine with the two of cups. So there is a sense here that we've reached this point of, you know, self-sufficiency where we're not allowing anybody into our space anymore who isn't giving us equal give and take. So there is a sense that despite this sorrow, whatever happened, it did put us in this energy where we really are self-sufficient. We really do have ourselves, And we really are in a position where we are expecting more from our partners. Okay, another nine, wow, wow, wow. So our spirit message is the nine of cups. So, this is you really having everything you need and being able to manifest whatever you want. It is coming out with the world in reverse. So I do feel like we are sort of experiencing a whole new world right now. So we may be feeling a little bit limited and restricted, okay? Because we have death on the bottom of the card deck as well. So death is coming out twice for us. So there's a sense of a completely new way of being here. And so, you know, it can be, I feel like we're in an energy where we don't even realize how powerful we are or how much we've grown Libra, but we really have and we've really reached this space of contentment and we've reached that place where we are reevaluating everything that we've been through and even though we are feeling a bit limited because it is a new situation, truly we can manifest whatever reality that we want from this position. So it was definitely worth it for this wisdom that you've gained. And we do have the hangman over here on the bottom of the deck as well. So, you know, we may just need to be stuck right now. You know, be a little bit stuck so that you can really, really get into it and really know what is the next, the next steps that you want to take. And be very mindful about it here. I'm definitely feeling that, sensing that with the of cups. All right, so let's get into some rebel oracles. So here under death and sorrow, we have don't fucking force it. Allow that shit to come to you. Okay, so definitely you know, if we're nursing a broken heart, if we're trying to, like, figure everything out and trying to, or, you know, just don't. Just don't fucking force it. Really don't. Okay. All right. So, for our healing energy, we have shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. Forgive. Let that shit go. 
Okay, definitely do. With the Empress coming out, this is give love. Okay, come from a place of love. We got Venus right there on the card. And, you know, it's really, it is important. It's really important to root your intentions in love. And don't shame yourself or others. Regret and guilt and shame, those are just bullshit. All right, so sunlight, our bright spot. We have the tower and the nine of wands. And then we have some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. Okay? And absolutely. Okay, this tower is a blessing for you, Libra. This situation, this heartbreak that you are facing, it is a blessing. Okay, you needed this time to yourself because you needed to connect with your environment, with your own, like, sacred goddess energy. Like, you needed to create, you know, your own perfect environment. You needed this space. Whatever's being torn down right now, you really needed that. And you're in this Nine of Wands energy. You are apprehensive about moving forward because of the things that have happened to you in your past but your past is your past so don't let your issues fuck up this good shit that's about to happen okay now we have for nature energy again the king of cups clarified with the ten of wands and then we have eat your fucking vegetables eat some shit made by mother nature so i love that that's coming up in our nature energy and i really do feel like it is asking you here to really, with this King of Cups, you know, be able to, to love yourself and, and love yourself by taking action because this isn't the Queen of Cups, this is the King of Cups. So the King is going to show love by taking action, by acts of service for themselves because this Ten of Wands, you're just overburdened. So drop the fucking load, tap in, get into your body, listen to your body, do some nice things for yourself, eat your fucking vegetables, okay? Now here, in our serenity, we have the nine of pentacles, there we are, we, we are gorgeous, we are self-sufficient, and we have the two of cups indicating, you know, just really fruitful partnerships and coming out our oracle is you think someone is lying they are okay so i do feel that with the the nine of pentacles coming out with the two of cups i do feel like this is this is your standard this isn't what's actually happening in your life right now i don't feel like you're having this relationship that's equal give and take but it is the only thing you're going to accept so if you think someone's lying, they fucking are, okay? They are, Libra. They are lying and you, you know, you are intuitive and smart and you know that. Okay. Now our last oracle for our spirit column here. We have stop obsessing. You are not the fucking center of the universe. Okay. So, <laughs> I mean, it's really wild that un underneath the world reverse, we have you are not the center of the universe. So, you know, there is a sense here, Libra, you're not the center of the universe. Um, and, and that's a lot of pressure to be the center of the universe. So, you know, the weight of the world is not on your shoulders. You are not the center of the universe, but you are the center of your reality, you know? So tap in. This, this reading is really like a self-love reading. So, so get into it. And if you have you know, relationships that are really good and solid and they make you feel good, definitely engage in them. But I do feel like you think someone is, is lying. So if you think someone's lying, they are. Only accept what you deserve. If 
if you're the only one that's gonna love you, that's that's good. Then someone still loves you, okay? And you're very lovable. So this is just the energy of today, of this week. Um, you know, and I do feel like we're hurting. We are hurting this week, but we are the empress, okay? We know how to love. We know how to give love, and we know how to receive love, and we're the empress, so we will always have love. Love is is going to always come to you. We have the nine of cups, okay, and the nine of pentacles. You don't need anybody. You're self-sufficient, so you can literally set that standard however you want. In the nine of cups, you can manifest whatever you want, but stop obsessing. All right. Gonna go ahead and read a bear Libra. Visit my Etsy store and book a personal with me. Um, follow me on Instagram, like this video, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought about this spread. And um, you know, if there's any in particular decks or spreads that you'd like to see, let me know. Happy to accommodate or do my best. All right, Libra, I hope you have a wonderful week. I love you. Take care.